Hello, I'm John Rushton, the emotions expert. Who are you as a person? Do you know who you are? It may sound a very silly question, but do you know who you are as a person? Because there are three things in life which people tend to sort of get wrong. Who they are, who they think they are, and what they are. And there should be a link between all three. Now, you can get people like celebrities who go astray on all of those because who they think they are and what they are are two different things. And they have illusions of something else and it's because they, they're they in a public place and they're, they're showing what they can do by learning lines and things like this and sometimes they lose the plot. Um, but this could happen to anybody and you can have an illusion of who you think you are and what you are and why you do what you do and a lot of people tend to blame things like oh if you knew my past and when I was brought up and I was this and I was that and all of these kind of things and they're hiding behind this wall that they've created so that if they hide behind this wall they're never going to fail there's always an excuse why they can't perform the way they should should or do, but there's always an excuse. And this wall is a self-fabricated wall. It doesn't exist to anybody else, only to yourself. And you can get people who are emotional vampires, and all they want to do is corner anybody anywhere next to sitting on the bus or the train or the plane or in a, any a situation or a party and they want to tell you about them and they have a long version a short version the abridged version the heightened version the hysterical version the woe is me version they're masters at doing all these kind of things but these people never do anything in life at all because they're hiding behind again this this fabricated wall which stops them from failing it's an excuse and another excuse and another excuse but if you don't know who you are you're not going to actually perform to your best advantage you know your skills you know what you can do and what you like to do you know your worth that you will have a value or hopefully you'll have a, a value and you're, you're not poor old me again that oh I'm I'm not as good as other people they seem to do this and this and I can only do that well, that's only your perception, that's only how you see life, and this is because of a negativity within you. It's how you do things. And the, the funny thing is that and it's very true that what you talk about, you listen to. So negative people only say negative things because that's all they hear. It's called biofeedback. And this biofeedback is because when you say negative things, oh, look at them, look at this, look at life, what's this, did you see that on the news? did you see this and it's just non-stop that's all they ever say and their feedback from what they say they're listening to what they say and that's it and positive people are quite the opposite they all come out with wonderful superlatives oh it's wonderful it's marvelous it's super terrific oh don't worry about that it'll get better oh that was yesterday but tomorrow somewhere else and they have all these wonderful uplifting phrases and sayings and they smile when they talk and all of these kind of things and it makes a world of difference not only to other people listening because it boosts them up and in turn you get feedback from them which is really uplifting as well but it also makes you a better person because you're elevating yourself perpetually on by saying all these things you're bringing the vocabulary back to yourself of all that's good and marvelous and wonderful and super and terrific and sensational and all of the exciting and all of these kind of things this is what it should be you do need to know who you are and that doesn't mean staying in your comfort zone and thinking right I'm good here because you don't don't grow in your comfort zone you stagnate your comfort zone is okay if you want to chill out and that's fine as well but outside of that you must leave your comfort zone because that is where you're going to grow you're going to gain life you're going to do everything which is good and marvelous around you and you're going to grow because of that and so when you actually leave your comfort zone you will actually try things you'll get into a place which is difficult you may find lots of troubles and upsets and 
places which are not very nice, but all of these things are making you grow because you're dealing with them. You have to deal with them because nobody else can deal with them. The way you think and feel will change because you're dealing with them. The way you look at life will change. It'll increase. It'll be more open-minded. It'll be more accepting and understanding. And you'll also find within all of that where you don't want to go. You think, I definitely don't want to go down there or do this because that's completely alien to who I am, how I think, and my character and everything else. And that's all positive stuff. But if you never leave your comfort zone, you will never find these things out. So it's important you know who you are as a person and not just say things. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. Oh, I'm not going to try this. Oh, I won't like that. Oh, it's not me. I don't go. Don't be one of those people who does that because what they are doing they're actually hemming themselves into a little little ideology all of their own nobody else can understand it nobody else can see it but what other people will understand is that you're a bit of a dull boring person you're a person that doesn't want to try things and eventually they'll move to somebody else who is a little more a little more open minded a little more avant garde with how they think and feel and maybe dress a little more excitingly maybe talk a little better than you do because you don't say anything new or creative it's all mundane and dull and boring stuff and people who talk about the past oh well it was this my ancestors their ancestors it's rubbish they're parasites because Life is ahead of you, not behind you. You cannot change the past. It's just impossible. But you can change the future. And that changing the future starts where you are right here and now in the present. And this is where you need to be. You need to have your mind literally stressed, free and open to do something here and now. Because that's what's going to make the world difference to you and how you do and things and how you think and how you feel. It's important that you do understand all those three things about you, who you are, who you think you are and what you are. And there is a, a difference between them all. Work it out yourself because it ver varies from person to person. But once you know, you know your strengths and your weaknesses. And then when you know your strengths and your weaknesses, you can go forward. You can break all the barriers. You can go out of your comfort zone and you'll find a place which is really interesting. And this is the new you, the new exciting you. Do this. This is what you need to do and be happy with doing it.